All right, you guys. Just want to show you real quick. You see a sprinkling. Kind of nasty, dreary weather. Hold on, let me clean it off the lens. Coming in from uh, the air conditioner. But it kind of day you wouldn't want to be outside in the yard, working in the yard, but we're going to be inside under the porch. Just want to show you real quick. See, I was bad. I told you I was going to harvest all of that, and all I've been doing is just picking. You know pieces off for like my sandwiches and spring rolls and that and I haven't came through and actually harvested it but it's like a bushy monster and I still haven't done anything water's probably up to here right now so we can see how long that goes we'll keep it going I might you know harvest some but but I'm not adding any nutrients to it this is still the same nutrients that I put in there like a month ago you know we can look up the exact date on one of the videos that I uploaded but uh, you know, probably get about, all together is about twice as much basil as this, you know, counting what we've already harvested and took off. I would say you just come in here and, you know, and cut it and leave smaller ones to keep bushing out and you just keep picking off of it. But, uh, no work at all. Nothing, done nothing to that. And it just grew all by itself. So, I just want to show you really quick too that, See them harvesting. Remember that row of pak choy. And you know you're gonna go in a hydroponic shop like they keep saying. You know you need air stones. You need you know all this different stuff. Not fogging up again. Let's try this. A little magic. Nope. But they tell you you need all kind of stuff. But look at this. No air stones. You know, no motor, no pump, totally off grid, just in that downspout with some nutrients, nothing else. You know, we're growing, look at the, the heads of pak choy we're getting. So I started harvesting this, you know, I let it go where, you know, you've got some leaves that are going to die, get rid of those. And like I said, some of the bugs, you're not using any pesticides, so they're going to munch on it a little and you're going to have to go through them pick off some leaves that the, the bugs have already been eating but you know got like a whole bag full already that and then still all of that to harvest off of one eight foot downspout and basically uh, five gallons of uh, nutrients which there's still about two gallons in there so you basically you've only used about three gallons of nutrients and what I do is I just take that and dump that into one of my other containers. See, there's a little spinach growing there. Keep picking off leaves and eating off of the spinach. You know, I just dump that in there if it needs it. Or Fred right there, has been he's about three years old. He's getting kind of rough, but we can't let him go. So I'm going to keep harvesting this. Get us some more pak choy. See, these are nice crispy leaves. If you buy this in a store, you're all used to all this being just limp. You know, just, just dried up limp leaves and that, and you get it for the stalks. But you actually get some really nice greens off of this if you grow your own. And uh, that's good just like that. You, you don't even have to cook it. You can just cut it, rip it up with your hands, whatever, and toss it in your soup just like that. And it'll wilt a little just like uh, spinach. But you keep that growing. You don't ever have to go and buy any greens. Just take that and just rip it up, toss it in your soup. So I'm going to harvest the rest of this. And then we'll go through and... Well, I'll just show you. I mean, you've seen it in the other videos. We just pull one of these out to switch this out. That's all we're going to do. See the little roots? In fact, it's so easy. I can probably do it with one hand here without having to switch hands. Look at that one hand. The root comes out. No soil. Nothing to mess with. That goes bye-bye. Put that back in there. No mold. No algae. Take that. Rinse it off. Let's peek down in here. It's a little dirty. A little dirty, but it's not full of algae. So, see, and that's the thing, is with these pull inserts, if you get them thick enough like that, and you close off the light, you make sure every one of these holes are closed up, even if you, like, one plant dies, you know, don't take it and leave that one open. 
even if this plant dies, stick that back in and close it up. And you seal off all the light inside of there, and you're not going to have an algae issue. And then the nutrients all go to your plants. So that's just how easy it is. Like I said, you just come through here and just you know, pull these guys out. Get rid of him. Rinse him off. Rinse out your gutter, put your new nutrients, get your microgreen, pop it in there. You just saw me doing that last week. That's how easy it is. And then you'll have a new, I don't know how easy you can see this with the, with the sun back behind of it, but there's the ones we planted last week. Look at those buggers already starting to grow. You know, the little cotyledon leaves, those will, those will dry up and, and die. So if you see some brown leaves on the bottom, that's just their first leaves. But the true leaves are coming in there you know so that guy's only been up there a week sorry about the focus and the i'll get it right sorry about the focus and, and the lighting behind of it but yeah that's from last week you know look at that and so we're going to clean these guys out and you know what i've got lettuce you all see me growing pak choy over and over but it's just that it's so easy and you can have a constant supply and that's what I'm talking about is out in the garden it's kind of you know you can have your little secession plant and growing on in that but you know if it's dirty and nasty like this outside you don't want to get out there you know you have you some growing just always have your microgreens growing so that every time you get an empty space you just start over just put put some more in a little downspout these guys will be growing in a couple of weeks they'll be ready and then I'll have this one planted out so that it'll be about a week or two weeks behind of that. And just keep, keep doing it over and over. Or rather, I'm going to put lettuce in this. We're going to give it a try. Um, let me focus here. Lettuce is still 95 degrees out here. I think uh, Monday and Tuesday we're supposed to get up 93. And the feel like index is supposed to be around 100. So... Might be a little tough growing lettuce still, you know, we'll see how fast it bolts, but for just pennies, you know, the microgreens that I grew, I'll just put those in here. I'm not going to Home Depot and Lowe's and buying a bunch of transplants that cost like four or five bucks a piece and, you know, I'm putting, uh, it take about three or four of them for this, so you'd have to put about $20 worth of transplants into something like this. You know, I'm doing it for pennies with my microgreens. So if you, if you want to go, don't want to grow your own, uh, uh, plants from seed, you know, you're gonna have to pay a little bit for transplants But if you learn how to do the microgreens like I was showing you, it's just so easy to grow them like that and then put them in here so That's it. Y'all get out there and grow something And uh, I will be harvesting some more uh, basil. It's just that there's so much and uh, Here's one of the little containers before we go stuck a couple lettuce guys in there and we're gonna see how they do the next couple of days with the we're gonna have one or two days that are about 80 80 let's see 89 87 89 and then it's gonna go in the 90s so we'll see how it goes if not falls around the corner and, and we'll just have a ball we'll have lettuce and microgreens all over the place all right y'all get out there go grow something I don't know if y'all can see the hummingbirds. They're all fighting. Alright, catch y'all later.